Hmm. Looks like there are demons inside as well. Don't tell me, Aizen. You're the source of demon blight? Nope. It's just our bad luck to be around when it's spread. This is what it means to walk with the Reaper. You've only yourselves to blame. It works in our favor. The enemy won't be capable of an organized response. And we're a small group. Our mobility will be an advantage in the chaos. Hmm. So, Aizen, how do we open the Seagate? The controls ought to be located in the upper part of the gate. We'll activate them and then send a signal. Got it. To the top of the gate, then. Not all the ships left. A battleship. Not good. A fortress with a sea gate that blocks the entire strait. It's crazy what the Abbey can build. Until recently, I might not have believed it possible. It's no sweat, if you're using Malakim as tools. If Malakim can be made a blade to fell demons, they can also be made a hammer to forge metal. It's another way the Abbey and the Kingdom show their dominance to the people. It says, do not resist. Submit. It's disgusting is what it is. Disgusting. Agreed. This door should lead to the gate, but it looks like they've got it locked up tight. Well, brute force is out. Intruders! How dare you set foot in our domain! Where's the key? I am a proud knight of Midgand. I'm not about to yield to the likes of petty demons. There's nothing I hate more than someone else trying to control the direction of my life. My wheel is mine to hold. If I'm not the one steering the ship, then I'm not truly alive. The one steering... Indeed, and my entire life is devoted to the defense of this fortress. Then you better be ready to accept all that happens to you in the line of duty. Maybe it's time we found out just how deep your devotion truly goes. <laughs> Take it easy. There's nine more fingers to go. Wait! The key is in the control room. It's through there! <sighs> One more question. Which way to the battleship? Straight ahead. Up the stairs. Got it. Well, thank you for handling that. 
It just comes naturally. We need that key, but we also need to take out the battleship before it sails against the Von Eltia. He's right. The control room or the docks? Which will it be? Hmm. <sighs> Let's start searching. Okay. Don't get overconfident. <laughs> Come on, really? You know, you're pretty good with your fists, Aizen. Not as good as you are with your swords. I feel like I've seen a lot of your crew with swords. Do you really never use them yourself? No, not with the Reaper's curse, I don't. It likes to rear its head at the worst times. I've broken blades just by unsheathing them. And once, just as I was about to deliver a finishing blow, my blade separated from the hilt and went flying. That sort of thing. A sword isn't something I can rely upon when my life is at stake. I fight using only my own body. That's one less thing that can go wrong. It's too bad you're not a swordsman. I bet we could have had a hell of a fight. I wouldn't need a sword to make it interesting. What do you say? Want to try your sword against my curse? Sure, if the right time comes. Just don't whine when I end up winning. You took the words right out of my mouth. Well, here's where the real show starts. Do we have a plan first, mate? The fortress guards are almost all ordinary soldiers. Just a handful of exorcists to deal with. They went to the trouble to build this huge gate. You'd think they'd keep it better defended. You don't need an army of exorcists to keep a bunch of disorganized pirates under control, do you? As long as they're fighting ordinary humans, the royal army would suffice. So a few exorcists as officers is all they need. It was built as a symbol of the Empire. But it seems Arturius is the one really giving the orders. The Abbey directs security and defense, and Imperial soldiers are under exorcist command. We aim for the exorcists, then. The harder they are, the more fun it'll be. Ready to bust some heads? I'd rather cut them, actually. Uh. I was just getting warmed up. Move it or die. Your style is really unique.